Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This video focuses on important MCQs related to trauma from occlusion. Traumatic occlusion introduced by Bennett, Stillman, Miller, Gottlieb. Stillman. TFO or Trauma from occlusion refers to tissue injury that occurs when the occlusion force exceeds adaptive capacity of tissue. TFO affects all the following except enamel, alveolar bone, gingiva, pulp. Gingiva. Most common clinical sign of TFO Pain, pocket formation, tooth mobility, bleeding. Tooth mobility. In acute situation, tooth mobility, tenderness and percussion, and tooth pain seen. In severe cases, periodontal abscess formation and cemented tears can be seen. Which of the following not a sign of TFO? Increased tooth mobility, cementum tears, TOP, periodontal pocket. Periodontal pocket. Trauma from occlusion does not cause pocket formation, gingivitis, bleeding and attachment loss. Common site in multi rooted tooth affected by TFO cervical area, middle third, apical third, furtition. Furtition. Which of the following radiographic changes seen in TFO? Increasing width of periodontal ligament space, vertical bone loss. Radiolucency of alveolar bone, all of the above. All of the above. Test for tooth mobility. Tension test, roll test, frametus test, all of the above. Frametus test. Test for tooth mobility is Frametus test. If bone is resolved by excessive occlusal force, it attempts to compensate for lost bone called adaptive remodeling, buttressing bone formation, both of the above, none of the above. Buttressing bone formation. Plateau-like bone margin caused by resorption of thickened bony plate is called Let's Crater TFO Tillman's Cleft. Let's Let's are plateau-like bone margins that are caused by resorption of thickened bony plates. It's all about the topic trauma from occlusion. Thank you.